All right, guys, today we're gonna to talk about two different parts of the serve. We're gonna stick with platform stance today and talk about why it's so important to be loading the back leg and not get onto the front leg too soon. Also gonna be addressing how much we should be bending the arm here as we're throwing the arm and the racket at the ball. Depending on who I'm working with, the skill level and what their goals are, what they're trying to achieve, I'm going to give different advice. And I think every coach should be doing that. But what's interesting in this situation is the more of a beginner, the more you're struggling with the serve, the more I'm going to ask you to get on your left leg and to bend your arm a little bit more. And the more advanced you are, the more power you're looking for, the more I'm going to tell you to get on the back leg and bend your arm a little bit less. So when I'm working with beginners and intermediate players that are struggling with the basic kinetic chain, I'm asking them to bend their arm and feel like they can move the racket smoothly. Drop the racket down the back by bending their arm, roll the elbow forwards, and just feel like they can do this without it being pulled in any awkward direction. Just feel like it's not heavy. If it was 20 times heavier, could you still do it? Nice. Good, now look how you're rotating your body to do that. Grab your racket. Now there's a lot of players, again, beginners, that struggle to bend their arm and everything's a little bit stiff here. They don't have that really good throwing motion to throw the arm and the racket at the ball like that. So that would be the first step. Now, again, the arm is bending here. The racket's dropping behind the head. The elbow's rolling forwards before this completes all the way down the back. The elbow's gonna roll forwards. And then from there, we're just gonna throw the racket at the ball. Now. We also want to get on the front leg because that allows the body to rotate. Again, we have a lot of people struggling that are hitting it behind them. And in order to get that kinetic chain right, I'm looking for this arm to bend, elbow to come forwards, weight to be on the front leg and to be able to rotate around the body. So if I do this, you'll see that this is technically a very sound serve. So even when I'm doing the intermediate serve, just trying to get the basic fundamentals, you'll notice that I release off my back leg. And I'm releasing off the back before I move to the left. So there's a transfer of weight from my back foot to my front foot. This is the step in between these two serves that we're gonna talk about today. So as I throw the ball up, I'm on my back foot and I'm just transferring the weight to my front foot to allow me to rotate. And as you can see, I'm not jumping. Most of the time when people are doing crazy stuff out there, I just try and have them stay on the ground and just work on their balance and feel like they can throw their arm and rotate around that front leg and just take it back to basics. Now what can also happen in this situation, it's probably gonna be hard to stay that balanced. So you might find that your weight takes you forwards into the court there. But again, the step from this serve to a more advanced serve is to feel like you stay on that right leg a little bit longer. Now also, as you get more advanced, you're gonna probably wanna bend the arm a little bit less, right? So I do, I try and get people to bend their arm because usually people struggle and they're all stiff. But once you've got this kinetic chain down, you wanna feel like this arm doesn't bend past 45 degrees. Somewhere in between 90 and 45 to me is just about right. And you wanna stay on this back leg for as long as you can. As you start progressing, you're gonna be jumping. You're gonna start getting off the floor. Even as you jump in, you still transfer to your left leg, but you do it a little bit later, almost as late as possible. A lot of people that try and do this more advanced serve, they tend to look like this and their arm is all stiff. So loosen your arm out, and then when you've got that kinetic chain, feel like you don't bend your arm too much, and that's gonna allow you to use that shoulder almost like you're throwing something heavy. Like if you watch a baseball pitcher, 
often their arm stays this angle as they rotate there. Someone who can't throw, bend your arm, roll your elbow forwards and just get used to getting that kinetic chain. Because you'll see people who struggle at throwing, you know, they're all kind of, you know, they don't have it. So learn this first. And then if you want to be a baseball pitcher, keep this arm the same angle and that's going to allow you to use your shoulder. Now this uh, might be a little bit abstract right here, but you know the thing leapfrog where you jump with your legs, you use your hands and then you jump over something. You used to do it as a kid before iPads and more interesting stuff were going on, but you'd jump over something like this, right? Now, I want you to think about this serve as leapfrog. This is your legs in this situation, and this would be the arms, right? It's really hard to do leapfrog with just the legs, really hard to do it with just the arms. But there's this leaping off of the floor with the legs and then, in this analogy, the arms. So we're going from this back foot to the front foot and I'm feeling like the front foot just helps you propel yourself up and out at the ball. So you don't wanna be on this leg for too long. You don't wanna be on this leg for too long. Just like if you were doing leapfrog, you need the synchronization of the legs and then the hands to propel you over the object. All right, it makes sense. I'm gonna give that a go here. You know I'm not gonna to be too dynamic, but on the back leg, transfer into the front leg at the right time. And try not to bend my arm too much because I wanna feel like I'm using my shoulder to get the power. If you guys are interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one for six weeks where we get on Zoom, analyze your strokes, and then we can send videos back and forth to each other until you've really improved your game, just visit my website at tpatennis.com.